sun Don't know why I didn't come yeah. I left you by the house of fun I don't know why I didn't come But when I saw the break of day I wish that I would fly away I feel bad for you because I know you want to talk to people about your boost pedal that you love. I'll talk to you about it because I'm a nice guy. In fact, I'll tell you about my boost pedal, the DCX Boost from Origin FX. Subtle tone shaping, light boosting, crazy boosting, overdrive, fuzz. It can do all that kind of stuff and much more. Cash, Adele, Jimi Hendrix, Beach Boys. What do all these artists have in common? They all used the UA610 preamp. What's crazy about the 610 preamp is it sounds good on everything. Vocals, bass, drums, but especially guitar. I'm exactly like Brian Wilson, so I was like, I should probably have the preamp that he used for Pet Sounds. Look for them on Reverb, it was a little expensive, a little out of my price range, and it doesn't really fit anywhere on my desk. Origin Effects, one of my favorite manufacturers, prognosticated this. They thought, oh boy, wouldn't Alex like to have the sound of a 610? But on his board, they came up with the DCX Boost. DCX is 610 in Roman numerals. You don't believe me? Look it up. Just like all the other Origin Effects pedals, there's a lot more than meets the eye. It has two sides, one side for EQ, which does like cool EQ boosting, and then another side, which is the overdrive side, which gives you like really cool saturation, and saturation that you would not find in another kind of guitar pedal, because it's not based on a guitar pedal, it's based on preamp circuitry. Let's talk about the signal chain. I'm going from the DCX boost into the Strymon Iridium on the round channel, into a flint, and then into my DAW, which has a York Audio Deluxe Reverb IR. And then I have a little bit of Strymon Big Sky Room Reverb on. We're in the EQ side right now, which is mostly about tone shaping and kind of boosting, right? You can crank the drive and get some saturation, but it, it does it in a very different way than it would on the overdrive side. And this is my clean signal. That's the noon test, the most used test and the least helpful test in guitar YouTube demos. So let's dive in further, okay? Let's show you use cases, right? There's a couple things that I want to have happen when I'm playing a single coil guitar, right? Especially if like it's my clean tone. Cool, but I kind of need some more high end and I'd like some grit on it if I could. We'll push the drive up, push the high frequency up. Out of some grit, right? Out of some high end, maybe a little too much. I'll show you how we can mitigate that without touching our tone knob. So right now we're in flat. Flat means there's, there's no treble reduction at all. This whole, this thing down here, voice, that does, that's the adaptive circuitry. Depending on how hard you play, it'll adjust to treble roll off. On the other origin effects pedals that use adaptive circuitry, it's mostly done for like if you're changing volume and then you don't want to lose that top end. The DCX boost does it in a different way where it adjusts as how hard you play 
and it rolls off the treble. So this is in a flat setting. Now on medium. Like that's miles ahead and I didn't touch the tone at all. I didn't touch anything else. And on dark. Sounds pretty good on dark too, right? So it only works with how hard you hit, right? So if you hit it lightly, you still get those highs. Really dynamic, really cool. I like the medium setting the best. I feel like that gives it like a good character. Cranking the highs, right? There's not many paddles I have where if you crank the tone, people are still like, hey, that sounds good. Most of the times they're like, stop, what are you playing? What are you doing? Right? How, I mean, how does that work? Crazy. I mean, that is a lot of high end, but if you're like trying to fit in a mix, or if you have a guitar that like has way too much bottom end, great way to fix it. Or if you have an amp that's too muddy, there you go. Boom, it's done. And you're always on tone is fixed. Let's do this low frequency, which is great. Again, great for single coils on a bridge. And this is low end boost. for bridge, right? For a single coil, I think boosting a little high and a little low, it's perfect. So these cut too, they don't just boost, which is awesome. Cause if you have a humbucker, that's way too here. This is humbucker mode on this. Listen to way too woofy, right? Perfect. Um, and now it's fixed, right? Solving problems. That's great. I'm a problem solver and this thing just helped me solve a tone problem, okay? All right, now let's go into overdrive mode, which is a lot of fun. So just to show the difference, this is EQ mode. DB boost, obviously, but also a lot of more saturation there.
<laughs> so cool. That's not like a normal overdrive sound, right? That does sound like a cranked console. It's cool to have that sound on your board, right? Normally you get that post, you, you get that, you know, cranking it and, and especially cranking it while you mix. But this is cool, you can get that kind of cool console sound now. So this is one of the settings they have actually. Crank the EQ and crank the overdrive. Kind of got carried away there, right? It's the only pedal I have in front of my Iridium. This is the clean sound. This is the boost. And let's turn down that volume. Look what happens. man it really does rock but they're throwing it on dark you know gives it a cool vintage sound when you put it on dark right that's like a marshall head and oh let's just do it Hold on. So now I have a Marshall, uh, the M20 4x12 from York Audio and I have the punch channel on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it works in front of a Marshall 2, good to know. The voice circuit on the overdrive side is always on, right? Um, when it's on EQ side, it only comes on when you're playing it hard or it's like got going into saturation. When it's in overdrive mode, the voice is always on that voice, so flat, medium, or dark. Goes great with a blackface amp, it goes great with a Marshall style amp, like a plexi sound. Let's hear it when we start combining pedals, right? Because sometimes it could fall apart. This is chorus from the Narcissus from Joyo. <laughs> Here's some vibrato from the J-Rocket Tranquilizer. Hard to say that. A lot of times with the vibrato, there's too much low and it gets too woofy. So let's hear that real quick. Hear that? Sometimes it kind of goes like Let's pull back the low end. Much better, because before... <laughs> Hear that? It's getting muffled, right? Um, it just, there's just not enough clarity there. That happens when you're doing vibrato. 
so much more just clarity. That's what you want when you're playing guitar. Mids can get kind of kooky, so you got to keep it on a leash. But how does it work with other overdrives? I'll show you. Just do one before and one after. We're going to do the 5F6. The Formula 5F6 from Caitlin Bread is a basement style overdrive. We'll use that and then we'll use the DCX boost after that and I'll show you how we can kind of shape it. Cool, beautiful sound, um, but I'd like some more top end, right? Wouldn't you? We're in EQ mode, not a lot of drive, but we do want to add some top end. Beautiful. That's exactly what you would want of a boost. A lot of times with boosts, it just like completely mangles your tone and it just makes it muddy. I don't want to make things muddy, right? My EP booster does that sometimes. It makes things super muddy. I love that pedal, but like it doesn't always work with every other pedal. This, if it doesn't work, just twiddle some knobs and now it will work with another pedal. Now let's put it before the saturation on the deco. Drive mode again and add some doubler. You deserve a boost pedal that does more than just muddy up your chain, and your boost pedal deserves more respect from you for being always on. You need a versatile pedal to compete in today's high-paced, dog-eat-dog world, right? The guitar world is crazy today. There's guitarists that are nine years old, they've been playing since they were three, right? They have a million followers on TikTok, and they're competing with you every day for your attention and your affection. I don't know what I'm saying, honestly. 
I, I should say Origin Effects did send me this pedal. Here's where you gotta work out your biases, right? As you can tell, I really only talk about things that I like. There's enough negativity out there. I don't need to make a video about things that I don't like. There's plenty of other reviewers that cover that, all right? But I will tell you what this thing won't do. This does a very specific sound, just like all the other Origin Effects pedals. And if you don't like that specific sound, it shouldn't be on your board, but I do. It sounds good. <laughs> I don't know what to say about like bias in videos because it doesn't really make sense to me. Like if I'm making a video about something and I make it sound good, that's truth. Use your ears and think about what you want out of your tone, right? If you don't want to get an EQ pedal, but you do want to get a boost pedal and you love overdrive and you love like a vintage cranked sound, this is your pedal. That's literally me. I am that guy. I don't want an EQ pedal on my board because it's not cool. It's not sexy. I don't want it. Sorry. I'll do it in post, <laughs> okay? Or I'll leave it up to the sound guy. That's his job, right? <laughs> or, I mean, there's an EQ on my amp. Like, wh what? There's tone things in all of these pedals that I'm using. Like, I don't get it. Like, EQ pedal? Like, what? For what? To do what? This is way cooler. <laughs> right? Let's try one quick thing, though. High frequency, low frequency, all the way down, and it still sounds awesome. For reference. That's a good test of a pedal, right? Push the knobs all the way one way, all the way the other way. Is it still usable? Still sounds good? It does. It is. It's great. The video I did on the Magma 57 made it all the way into the Origin Effects newsletter. Wow, thanks for that. It'll show up here during the credits. Thanks for watching.